Boy, is that fucking fat, ugly broad in a lot of trouble. Boy, this. Well, who does she look like? Who does this fucking ugly... Because her hair has has the bounce of an anvil. She has no <laughs> luster. That's why I hate her so much, because she has no luster in her hair. Not an ounce of... She has lusterless dead hair. That shitty perm. I, I don't like her fat girl perm, and I don't like her her hair. She looks like an aging rocker. Like a 60-year-old male rocker. I don't know which one, though. And as soon as someone says it, I will know who she looks like. She's on the cover of the post. She looks a little like Duff McKagan. Nah, yeah, Duff, but a fatter Duff with her glasses. But I don't know who she's reminding me of, but it's somebody. And it's driving me ballistic as to who this chick reminds me of. What, a, what an abomination. Poor, I can't say the poor husband. The guy might be a shithead. But can you imagine... You're married to somebody. You work in jail together. All right, there's an escape. You're probably talking to, you know, this bloated not, you know, monster of a wife of yours. You're probably talking to her about it. Like, I don't know what happened, why they did that. But I'm having heart palpitations. I'm going to go to the doctor. And then all of a sudden you realize that she might be in on it. And then you hear the guy's a giant cock. So you're like, oh, no. She cheated on the ex with me, and that's why we're together. And I know she kind of goes for size. And then I have to hear that this guy, who all the other convicts would make fun of his giant dick, <laughs> and he would always scowl at me in the office. Oh, no. Was she fucking this guy? Oh, no. Oh, nerds. Oh, nerds. <laughs> and then you just jerk off thinking about your wife fucking the guy with the giant dick. That's all I'd be doing. So what happened? Did you give him an iron today? Yeah, he needed the drill and the iron. Did you see it? No, I didn't. I don't look. Fucking fat liar. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he doesn't say that. But in his mind, he's thinking that fat liar. You and think that was the deal? Like, she would give, you know, another a, a, another tool, and he would just, like, you know, take his pants down? Yeah, like LeBron did. Yeah. <laughs> it was a quote-unquote accident. I mean, that's how she got to look at the thing that she probably saw from the top down, the shaft down. And she saw that this giant dick was around, and he's going to escape, and she was going to help him, just to hopefully get stuck with that big dick. <laughs> then you're the husband, and you find out that fucking, that fatty 80s rocker guy hairdo, wife of yours, is in on it. You're like, oh, God, how embarrassing. But then you can still jerk off to it. She's like, yeah, I bet she was going to fuck the guy in the car. Then you find out they're going to kill you, and then you really come. <laughs> like, oh, boy. <laughs> this doesn't get any hotter. She's gonna, they're gonna kill the husband. How, how shitty a plot is that? Like, they're gonna escape. She's gonna wait over the manhole or wherever the hell she was gonna be. And then they were gonna go kill the husband and go to a cabin. Yeah, like seven hours away. Seven hours away, a cabin. Where they would absolutely kill her. Of course. No, they wouldn't kill her right away. They'd fuck her for a while. Well, yeah. But I mean, she would not live to. So you know. No, she wouldn't live. They would probably they would probably fuck her for a while and then kill her. And then fuck her. And then fuck her again and then fuck each other. <laughs> and I get just both the ring, give you both the beat, and just both go fuck each other. I'll get blood all of my eighties rocker guy hair do. You're used to that. Ah drink up, Jake. It's good. It's doing raging bull impressions to no one. So then apparently they're gonna kill the husband. I don't know why. Did she want the husband killed or do they want to steal his truck? <laughs> No, they said it was, that the, it was a plan. It was no, no, no. It was a plan, but to get to the cabin in the woods, the Unabomber plan they had, which would have absolutely they would have gotten caught doing that shit plan with this fat panic attack having idiot. <laughs> um, she doesn't keep a secret. No, she doesn't keep a secret. Oh, I got to go to the doctor, and she's got to tell everybody. Oh, it's all my fault. I gave him this. Boy, she. I I worry about you, Henry. You might fold under questioning. And she did, quickly. Yeah, she's apparently holding nothing back. No, what a blabbermouth. You are a blabbermouth. She fucking blabbed the whole plot. So I don't know why they were going to kill the husband. Because Was it because they were going to kill him because she hated him? And she wanted to fuck giant cock boss killer? Or was it a practical thing of, like, I'll do anything to get that dick stuck in me on the regular, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> We're going to need your husband's truck. Well, I don't know. He's in a prison guard. He's not going to be very happy about that. We'll kill him. Okay. Sounds good. I read that it was her idea. Oh, oh man. Yeah. What a cunt. Yeah, they're going to have marital problems. They certainly are. I, mean, I want to know how fast she's in the house before. It's like, what the fuck? 
I don't know. You know, you, we've been arguing a lot. You fat liar. You fat liar. <laughs> you said things were okay, you fat liar. You big fat liar. That's probably what, his, <laughs> probably what his nickname is at home. Well, looks like big fat liars told another big fat lie, hasn't she? So, um... They were going to kill the fucking husband, and then she just got um, cold, fat feet. <laughs> she got cold, fat feet. Yeah, she apparently felt bad. that they... She still loved Lyle. Yeah. Fuck yeah! <laughs> what the fuck, man? She's like my mother. Fuck! <laughs> How embarrassing for the husband to know that your wife was going to kill you and be a fucking skewer for two other murderers. You think people around town talk behind his back? Oh, my God, but his big, dumb mustache. He looks like a baseball manager. Yes, he does. A lot. Tight pants. Yeah. But who does he look like? Uh, it could be anybody from the fucking from the 80s. Looks like Davy Johnson. Davy Johnson. That's exactly who he looks like. Oh, I don't know what happened. Ever since, you know, ever since he pinch hit for Hojo, <laughs> she's been fucking that convict and saying she's going to kill him. Oh, I don't know. She was going to murder him on the way to the dugout because Mr. Met was sticking his big dick in her. <laughs> they were going to they were going to steal the they were going to steal the bullpen car and go upstate. They were going to take that bullpen car and it, she was going to get fucked by two men that really know how to do some fucking. That's probably what it was. Davy Johnson Mopey Stash is probably a <laughs> lousy piece of ass. Doesn't eat her pussy. Doesn't eat her ass. But two convicts who were like, we got this fucking. We had this fat manatee on the hook. Almost like Norton buying real estate. She'll do whatever we want. Not really. Not, they, they were just they were gonna fuck her, get a few loads out, and then absolutely kill her, and then eat her. They, they probably plotted like we can have, we can store her through the winter. We'll have this pig until June. It's June. Good improv. Of all the months, <laughs> the non-improving faggot that I am. Of all the months I could have picked, I picked June, the which we're in. Over. Of all the months I could have picked, I could have said August, and it wouldn't have been good because I said winter. Oh, I don't know. You, you know, we can just kind of go up to the mountains and live together. Yeah, all right. Guy tortured his boss. Yeah, the other one, like, dismembered another guy. Yeah, you know, like, perfect. Yeah. Those are the guys you want to go to the woods with, fatso. <laughs> Smart plan. You think she had, like, big plans, and they were just like, you know, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. Oh, yeah, they were yesing her to death. You know, and you know, I could sit there and entertain you because I've been doing this whole, like, one-woman show thing. <laughs> little soft shoe. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do a little soft shoe, and I'll, I'll do some some jokes I've been working on. I can sing. We can play Scrabble. Candyland and Parcheesi. You said you like Parcheesi. Oh, I do. I love it. I don't know why I'm talking in this accent, but I guess for the bit, I might as well. There's no way they would make the seven-hour trip. No, she would she, she would wind up like that woman in Fargo. She'd be yapping like that fucking that dummy while the soaps are on, and then a frying <laughs> oh, pan to the back of the head. The guy who dismembered, he would just get the hunkering to dismember again. Like every time he saw her fat ankles, he'd be like, I want to put a saw through those so bad. Those are so cut offable, those fat tankles. And then the other guy would be like, Come on, dude, easy, easy. I'm fucking her. Easy. They'd dump her on the side of the highway like a deer. Yeah, just hope that no one noticed there was a person. People would think some rhino escaped from the hospital <laughs> and had a fucking bad blonde 80s rocker wig. Why is there a rhino with a toupee? I don't know. Let's just fucking eat it. <laughs> so that's the plot. I mean, how bad for the husband is that when your wife was going to kill you? I'm so dirty, though. I could probably sexualize that and forgive her. I probably could. I'm a weird dude. Like if you were him? Yeah. You'd be like, that's all right. Yeah. You fat liar. Yeah, you big fat liar. <laughs> big fat fucking liar. But that would get a fuck thrown in. You big fat fucking liar. Oh, yeah. She looks like Dusty Rhodes. God damn it. That's who this beast looks like. Fucking fat liar.